The city of Charlotte, North Carolina has a ton going for it. You talk about job growth and opportunities, growth inside the city with population, money being dumped here, all types of businesses and banks. Plus, most certainly has to be the quality of life. But there's always two sides to every single coin. Charlotte has its problems too, and that could make or break your decision to move here. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about all of those things, and we're gonna address some elephants in the room. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? I hope all is well, as always. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some things that may or may, you, you may not like a few of these things on this list. We already talked about the pros and why everybody is moving up here. There's a lot going for the city, which is obviously can be seen from the outside or inside looking around, right? But there's some things that you want to be cognizant of. I'm telling you guys, I mean, it's some things to be mindful of when it comes to living in Charlotte. The first elephant that we're going to discuss is the crime, right? Crime in Charlotte is rising for whatever reason, right? which is super shocking to you moving here. I come from a city where I it had a bad reputation for crime. So it was really shocking to me to see a city like this have so much crime here, right? And here was my thoughts when I first kind of read about it or just seeing people kind of complaining about it on Reddit. My first thought was, is this like a one section of the city type of thing? Or is this like a couple neighborhoods that's giving the whole city a bad reputation? And if the crime is so bad here, why did myself and a whole bunch of other people move here, right? So I start doing some digging, as most people do. I already did the research for y'all. Don't worry about it. Here it is, right? I went on Google. Like, <laughs> I went on Google. I asked some of my, some of my family members here. And I also, you know, just looked around a little bit. I typed in 10 worst cities or 10 worst neighborhoods in Charlotte and bang, I, I chose a good, reliable source at areavibes.com. I always use area vibes. Generally, they're not too biased when it comes to the statistics. I just like the way they use, they use FBI reports and all that. They're pretty good. Areavibes.com, if you guys don't know about them. I use areavibes.com and I found you know the top 10 cities that pop i mean top 10 neighborhoods that pop up when it comes to crime and the, the bad reputation that these people get and it was a mixture of both most of these neighborhoods are in one section of the city right and what do you do when you see that you stay out of those certain areas unless they got good food i'm gonna go try some food you know i'm gonna go down there i'm gonna get my food and i'm gonna go home <laughs> but nonetheless you i mean just be smart use your street smarts in your street sense every city has crime like you cannot avoid it charlotte is i've had i know people who 60 70 years old that walk around charlotte with no issues right so it's up to you mind your business going about your day and don't be causing no trouble and if you inside that 485 loop lock your doors like you, you know what i'm saying don't these are what i call inner city problems every city has them lock your doors don't leave your front door wide open don't leave bikes on the front lawn unless you're in the suburbs you could probably get away with that but inside the city man just be smart use your street knowledge you know the second one has to be one that it's especially you guys moving coming from up north like me or maybe even west because you know california gets like a solid 75 or 80 all year round north we had some cold coming down to the south the summers from i would say about april maybe even may to about september october Quick public service announcement for you guys that don't know, my name is Devonte Davis and what you're doing right now, the hours and days and months of research, moving into a new area, the stress, the anxiety, what you feel inside your mind. Not only do I know how you feel because I've lived it and I've done it, but I've also helped a lot of people do the same thing. I've been in real estate well before I moved up to Charlotte and this is why I came to Charlotte to help more people to move up to this great city. This city is awesome man there's so many things to do so much growth and things happening but the hardest part is figuring out where you're gonna live what you're gonna do where you're gonna go to school shopping all that good stuff i've done the research i spent thousands of dollars on plane tickets to get myself up here and i'll help you have a way cheaper and easier way to move up to Charlotte. So make sure you guys, if you are thinking about moving out to Charlotte, hit us up with a call 
email, text. You'll either get myself or I'll pair you with somebody close to me on our Charlotte team to make sure that you have the best experience possible when moving up to Charlotte. Because I know it. It's stressful moving from one city, especially if it was your hometown, to a brand new city. All right. So hit us up, call, email, text. Now back to the video. It's a humidity in Charlotte that will, I'm, I'm dead serious. When you walk outside your front door, sweat. I'm not. I mean, you can see it kind of, <laughs> you can see the, you can see it just piling up on your forehead. You're, it's a beastie summer in some cases, man. It gets hot here. I mean, hot. You, there's, if you trying to walk around between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., you're silly. I'm not even trying to be funny. Unless your body is just like that bike rides, going for a midday run, all that stuff is out the door. You either hitting that in the morning or you hitting that in the evening. You're not going to go for a jog at 2 p.m. in Charlotte. If you do, I respect you highly. You're going to get a good tan and you're going to burn some calories, I'm telling you. And with that humidity, right, comes a bug problem. Charlotte has some mosquitoes I've never seen before, and they don't care what skin color you are melanin no melanin asian green or blue you gonna have some bites on you if you don't have the centrella candles burning or if you didn't get your um grass sprayed if you didn't do one of those two things you don't have a mosquito net on your back porch you gonna get ate up i promise you there's a bug problem in charlotte when i first started when we first started moving or thinking about moving down here like that was one thing I'm looking around for, right? I seen a beetle this size. I'm I kid you not. And he was chilling and I let him be. As long as he don't enter the house, <laughs> I'm cool. But there's some bugs out here, and it's fascinating to me too, because it's like this like Charlotte has this red clay dirt. And if you're trying to wear white sneakers and you go into a backyard barbecue, forget about it, right? Those sneakers are going to be crushed. I mean, you're just going to have all type of red stains on them. But Charlotte has this red dirt. So I'm trying to figure out how they down in that dirt. Generally, it's like good soil that these bugs want to be in. I don't know, man. But this climate brings, I mean, it's a humidity. From that humidity, it's going to bring some mosquitoes. You're going to get ate up. So make sure you take your off spray. Or you need to be somewhere wrapped inside a mosquito net somewhere because you will get ate up and them bugs is out here they not playing around now here's what a lot of us all of us really across the united states have been going through inflation right things in charlotte are getting expensive they really have gotten expensive all over like that's no secret right everybody knows that but with the amount of people coming to charlotte that has drove the prices up especially when you're talking about rent and your other major cost which is going to be your home or buying a home those homes that used to be three 250 right 300 325 those are now pushing especially when you talk about existing homes are now pushing half a million right high 400 so those things that are those are things that you guys want to think about is that a nationwide thing when you look at the trend from charlotte and compare that to a nationwide thing yes they all have been on an uptick especially ever since covid but with the amount of people who is moving here it's driving the prices up even higher so those are things that you guys have to think about it's in the south you think hey i'm going south so things should be a little bit cheaper not necessarily in every single fashion taxes yes i think taxes are a little bit lower especially coming from where i'm coming from taxes are massively lower when it comes to property taxes like for instance in buffalo where i'm from you can easily for three hundred four hundred thousand dollar house you can easily i'm mean, easily pay five to eight grand a year in taxes down here in charlotte you're not paying close to that so it it is it really is subjective to your income what you guys are doing your job your sources and how in what ways you guys like to live if you think you coming up here with 30 50 grand a year as a household income it may be a little tough for you i'm just being honest and just looking at rentals especially inside the city it may be a little tough for you you can easily pay 1800 two grand for a one bedroom inside of charlotte easily 
easily, right? So those are things that you want to think about. So again, it's going to be subjective to how much you're making as a household income. If you're bringing in, you know, 60, I think the median household income right now in Charlotte is like 68,000, 69,000, something like that. If you're sitting around that mark 70,000, you're going to be okay. You're not going to be balling out of control, but you're going to be okay. As a household, you really want to try to, if you can pick it up to like a hundred, 104,000. I think that's the average, um, in a uh, rental ink. I mean, oh my God. I believe if you could pick it up to about 100, 104,000, I believe that is the average, not the median, but the average household income right now in Charlotte. So you will be okay there. And like, you'll be able to still, you know, go out. You won't be going out every weekend, but you can still go out, have a date night with the wife, the babies and the kids. But the more kids you have, the more expensive it's going to be, as we all know. So just think about those things. Again, there are some things that weigh out when it comes to Charlotte versus the city you're from. So just make sure you guys are looking at uh, numero or cost of living calculators to make sure that you guys will be able to afford the things that Charlotte has to offer. You know, you're going to get great quality of life, but you still want to be able to live, right? You don't want to just be working just to pay a mortgage. Now, everybody talks about this and this is one thing it's it's one of those things that you can't really argue but it's just here right and that hey the people down here can't drive right here's my theory i'm gonna give you my theory on this the reason why a lot of people can't drive is because it's a huge transplant city right you have so many different people so many different driving style ethnicity is super diverse in charlotte which is the most of the one of the most amazing things and in that same breath with all these different all this different diversity everybody doesn't drive the same everybody from the west coast doesn't drive like people from new york new york definitely doesn't drive like people from anywhere that's the most aggressive driver i've ever seen in my life and people with the natives of charlotte who's actually born and raised here they pretty much chill like they go with the flow it's everybody else there's always a car either pulled over or there's a car accident on the highway all the time people here play speed racer and going nowhere it's fascinating to me i mean there's so, the, the amount of people who cannot drive in this city is fascinating so ju please just be careful again it's so many different backgrounds so many different people and then plus on top of that you have the tourist right you have the people who want to drive down the highway and look at everything right i was one of those people that's the only reason why i said that but you, you know when you in the city for the first time you want to look at everything so you also have those people you need to watch out for right so there's a lot going on when it comes to the driving and then also with the city they don't have the infrastructure yet like if you think about how fast charlotte has grown it's hard as a city to be able to navigate that keep the roads clear steady and paved right inside the city when you just had a million people pop up here in the last 13 years right so that is something that you guys are going to have to deal with traffic is going to be heavy if there there's a if there's a panthers game a hornets game a, any game downtown uptown i'm sorry you are man you're going to have to be patient if you're going from the city of charlotte and commuting back to mooresville huntersville lake norman anywhere up north you have one road to take that's i-77 it's gonna be traffic in the morning and after that rush hour on a friday you can forget it you might as well have your water in the car and a snack because you won't be there for a while here's the kind of tie off my theory 83% of people that live in Charlotte rely on a vehicle. There's not a lot of public transportation and that leads me to my next one. The public transportation in Charlotte is not good. I think, oh my gosh, I was reading an article the other day. It was like public transportation in Charlotte is like 10th worst in the country, which says a lot for a city that's so large. It is getting better. You have the light rail, um, so that's coming, but uh, well, that's here, I should say, and that's helping a lot, especially if you live in like Noda uptown, if you live in um, uh, one of the first wards, like anywhere that like the, the south end, which is a nice kind of work, play, eat, sleep environment. And those are walkable areas, Noda, south end, uptown somewhat plaza midwood right um but those are pretty much the top four walkable areas so if you really want to 
have that eat sleep play environment you don't you want to keep that car in the driveway i would suggest those four areas and i got a video already done for you or it's coming out very soon depending on which one i drop first but those are three areas that you guys really want to check out if walkability or you guys really don't want to drive too much i would check out those areas and that's going to be it for this video we're going to wrap it up there i mean there's some good again but charlotte it, it, it has it has its problems like any other city again with the amount of people that come here a lot of them are transplants if you guys want a more slower pace or you guys don't really want those same type of problems i would think about more the suburbs and then possibly inside the city of charlotte the suburbs is going to give you that true kind of southern feel the hospitality um the, the slow pace sitting on your porch maybe a new build if you guys don't want something that's built in 1954 the suburbs are going to give you that you got a little more money you a little more you a little more affluent and you want something right on the water or the lake you really probably want to think about lake norman uh parts of mooresville huntersville like those are areas that's a little more slow pace of living still a great time everything you need as far as amenities goes but the city of Charlotte is going to be more of everybody's moving here. It's going to be super, super diverse, which is amazing. But again, you're not going to have as many natives inside the city as you will inside the suburbs. So you got some pros and cons, man. This one is really kind of hammering on the bad a little bit. But I think overall, the city has a lot going for it. I promise you guys. Now, if you guys don't already know, my name is Devontae Davis. If you guys have any questions or you guys are moving up to the Charlotte area, make sure you guys hit me up with a call, email, or text. You guys know I always respond. And as always, I will see you guys inside the next one.